Dundalk TV is outside the Holiday Inn in Timonium, and I'm with Dr. Jay Walton and also Michael D. Witt. Michael D. Witt, and I've just got to know Michael tonight. Uh, thank you for being a part of this, Michael. So, um, what happened inside of a meeting tonight with the Central Committee was a bloodbath. So, uh, at first, and we'll, we'll let you know a little bit more about that here in a second. So, um, uh, very intense. Um, they tried to shut people down, and they did not want Dundalk TV to uh, do any camera work inside, although they said at least a half a dozen times or close to a half a dozen times about freedom of speech. Well, um, that's a, just a little hypocritical if you ask me. At any rate, um, now we go to Dr. J. Yeah, thank you so much, Scott. And uh, I, I tell you, <clears throat> it's, it's great to be able to have that, that First Amendment right to, to have that freedom of speech but you know, there are venues like we saw tonight where um, the, the chairwoman controlled the meeting. Um, what, what we were here about was there was an article that um, not a lot of people knew about because good conservatives like myself don't subscribe to the Baltimore Sun. So I think, um, like my friend Mike DeWitt here would say, um, we should have had time to, to really talk about the article and debate so really, nothing was accomplished today at this meeting because um, people still don't know much of the article. I was given two minutes to talk. The chairwoman, she had more than two minutes to talk in the beginning. Well, you got somebody's time tonight, didn't you? And I did get uh, the good Mr. Collier's here uh, time. One gave, minute. gave you my time. One minute, yeah. <laughs> no, two. You got, you two. got the whole I thing. I did get the whole two minutes. <laughs> yes. So, but it, it should have been ran a little bit better. Um, I did. So what you did, what you guys didn't see was. Uh, well, well, I think there were some real positives to come out of it. So, and, and we 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 got to throw the stuff out there. Unfortunately, they didn't allow the, the openness and transparency that mm. should have been there. Right. Um, you know, they're saying that they are uh, all about the First Amendment, but then they shut me down. Yeah. Um, so they don't want reporters reporting on it. But I told them exactly what we're doing right now. I was going to go outside with people and do an interview. So this is what I want to ask you, and then we're going to go to Michael and find out what he thought. Why did you post what you posted on the Internet? And, and I said, people have said you shouldn't have done that, but you were acting as a reporter as far as I'm concerned. Now, why did you do what you did? Well, you know, that, that article that was written, um, I, I still 100% uh, disagree with it, as do a lot of people. It, uh, Garrett Zaner talked about paternalism. Um, it, it was a, a more liberal view of what the conservative Republican Party is. It's not should be, it's is. is. And um, you know, it's, it's not up to, to Garrett or, um, you know, he, he doesn't have that power to, to speak on behalf of the Republican Party. And, and there was talk about, well, he didn't sign his name as the parliamentarian of the Republican Party, but you know, when, when President Trump tweeted stuff, you know, he, he didn't say, all right, now I'm gonna to cease to be the president, now I'm just citizen Trump, right? You, you can't separate the two. You can't separate Garrett Zaner from the parliamentarian of the Republican Central Committee. Um, so really, all I did tonight was, um, you asked why I did that, you know, as a, as a pro-life supporter, um, you know, all I did was, expose abortion mills right they're already there i just kind of stand out there and I'll, I'll pray and and make people aware that they're there and there was a lot of support on both sides it seemed like they had a, a little bit more support life. um there were some college people there and glad they're involved yeah. um uh, but you know you have to have it opened up you have to let everybody right. know what's happening and um and all i did tonight you know to answer your question was i just yes. wanted to expose that article for what it was, and um, I, I do think I did uh, a little bit of that. I wish I would have had more time to talk more about it, but. Well, I think you did well, and like I said, you had you had good support here tonight, yeah. uh, but the college students kind of uh, were a little bit uh, heavier uh, tonight um, yeah. um, in unison, and uh, they had a, a, a strong support for, for Garrett. Okay, now Michael, what did you think about the meeting, and were you glad to be here? Oh, I was glad to be here, support my friend, Dr. J. <laughs> And I think they should have read the article in the beginning of the meeting so everybody knew what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't read the article, but it sounded like there were some controversial things in there that probably shouldn't have been said. He probably should have had some other people read the article and, and edit out what shouldn't have been in there, which didn't happen. But um, freedom of speech. So we, we all got to say what we wanted to say and and I yep. and and, and, uh, and well, I think and I, I think and I think Mr. Zayner learned that although he does have freedom of speech, he doesn't have freedom from speech, freedom yes. from the consequences of yes. what people are. And that was exactly. brought up and that was brought up very well. There exactly, were some really good yeah. people there tonight. And the one point that I wanted to make is, you know, when they're doing all this, they're calling the shots. Now who's overseeing them? Who do you go to to say, hey, we need an investigation into this? Um, you know, who's gonna do that? Yeah. So uh, that's something that Dundalk TV is gonna work on a little bit and see about, you know, because guess what? I have been around politics since 20, 13 now and I have seen the Republicans act like Democrats mm -hmm. and I have a real problem with that there's mm -hmm. cheating going on there's uh, biases going on there's looking the other way and it needs to stop mm -hmm. if we are going to say you know that the Democrats cheating and doing that kind of stuff and the things that they're doing and not allowing the press to come in and and uh, cover mm -hmm. things well then it's, it's you're being hypocrites and we're yep. we our the, the party is you know, I'm not going to say it's no different, but there's too many similarities, let me put it that way, that I see all too often. And if we're, we need to clean the party up, and that's the point that I want to make. So you got my time in there, but now I got to reclaim it outside. So <laughs> I, I want to thank both of you. Uh, keep up the great work, Dr. J. And yeah, Mike, you too, uh, Scott. I'm you glad Scott. to meet you tonight. You and too. thank you for being a part of this. And don't forget, everybody, to please share and subscribe to Dundalk, Dundalk TV. TV. And yeah. comment, comment on the videos, too, um, on the videos themselves. This is Scott Collier signing off from the Holiday Inn in Timonium.